Gaming United here with the tabletop update of my GTP2E's Carnage. All right, so as you can see, she's broken. It's not as bad as it looks, though. Um, you can see in here the uh, this is the <laughs> this is the pillow ball. It used to be like this. I think it's the, it's the upper. That's the upper. It used to be like so. All right. And this wonderful item went in there. Like, uh, because that way. Amazingly, this is not bent. It's not bent at all. See that there? Twist it. Does not. Let me get a focus on this. So yeah, I, I cracked the upper A arm. All right. Connected those fish here. I think I lost a couple of shims. And then back here, the rear upright snapped. All right. There. Let's show you this here. If you can see that there, that dog bone is quite bent. <laughs> and it didn't even get hit on this side to make the shock just kind of went through the body or through the uh, rear diff. The diff seem okay. Not crunchy or anything. This upright's okay. Uh, the internal dog bone, <laughs> you can see, see that? <laughs> look at that thing. Yeah. That doesn't look good. That doesn't look good at all. I don't know if you can see down in there, but the front one looks okay. But I'll take it both. So, I got the parts in today. At least the, the broken plastics. These are the uprights. I, got, I bought two sets because they discontinued. I got uh, two sets of the upper A arms. I didn't even try to look for the uh, lower A arms. They, I mean, they, they didn't break at all. And the pins don't look bent in there. You can see down in there. Down in there. The pins don't look bent. And there's definitely no shimmy or anything like that in them. Uh, when you look at them, they look pretty straight. Let's see if I can get you guys an angle down on that. Yeah, see, they're, they're pretty straight, so. I'm not gonna worry about that. The shock towers are fine. Like everything is fine. The only thing I really destroyed was the uh, that rear dog bone is gone. I have no idea where it is. It could be on the ground somewhere, but I got more. Like I said before, I got more rear dog bones. Um. So yeah, missing rear dog bone, broken upright, shattered pillow ball. Uh, thing jang jang. I have I have another set of these pillow balls because one of these was cracked. Anyways, I don't know which one it was. But I'll replace them both. I think it was the bottom one here. I don't know. I'll replace them. So I got I got new pillow balls. They actually the new pillow balls came with the new uh, actual ball joints and everything. So I'm just gonna take these off. I'm gonna measure the uh, distance of the pillow ball from the end of the A arm. And make sure I get get it to the same as factory. Quick check the manual for that too, but you know. So yeah, it's good. Should be up and running, running by uh, this Sunday. Got some hammering to do. Probably get this all done in a night. I hope. Two nights, maybe. So that was that, right? GTP2E, Eddie Bell. She'll be at the uh, the next event, ripping and re ready to go. We're gonna have to call a super tighten up on that one. Now the next car is my Slash, right? <laughs> You look down in there. That gear is broken. See that the whole joint broke out there. Like every piece that's not connected to one of the. Uh... There, I'll give you an example. This is a this is a working one or a non-busted one. Like every piece that was not connected to where the screws are broke out. That part broke out, that part broke out, and that part broke out. And why did this happen, <laughs> you ask? 
Maybe you don't ask, but I'm going to tell you anyways. It's because this plate is L broken. Now, this is not a testament to Jess's work, handiwork by any means. This car has crashed a bunch of times too. Um, it hasn't flipped, but it definitely has had some front and rear impacts. Uh, so, I mean, this plate being loose is no, no shock to anybody. So, uh, I tightened it up last time I was out and, uh, it's just, you know, the screws are, uh, the screws holding this plate onto this plastic piece are metal. So it's metal in the plastic. So eventually it was going to wear out just the way it was. It was a great plate while it lasted though. I got the new one that's uh, Jess and VGAD made. Looks quite nice. If you notice the, uh, the metal is quite a bit thicker. Too much movement. Sorry guys, I'm doing this with one hand. If you notice that the, uh, the metal plate is a couple of millimeters thicker. Let's see if we can get some indirect light on that. It's thicker, trust me. Yeah. Uh, it's still metal in the plastic, but the screws they use into this plate are much larger and I'm assuming it looks like they have much, uh, let's see if I can get a close up on that. The threads are much, much more aggressive. So I'm, I'm, I'm thinking this plate's going to last me quite a bit longer than the other one. So I got to put that in there, reinstall the gear. That's going to my slash. I didn't even take the batteries out yet. And she'll be ready. That's a quick err fix than what's going to have to go on over there. So yeah, that's that. Hopefully this is not going to come out super, super bright so you can't see anything. But I wanted to keep the light on my camera on so you can get some good close-ups of what's going on in there. Um, but yeah, this car will be ready to go too with their brand new spanking GRPs. These are S5s, um, so I'm probably not gonna be able to run them much longer because it's getting a little cool out, but they hook up good. I got no problem with them. I, I got S5s this time because I wanted my tires to last a little longer. Oh, speaking of tires, this is a tire off the uh, GTP2E. Yeah, took a little bit of a beating. Beating, lots, lots of spokes missing, it's what? Just one spoke, but a bunch of cracked ones up here. Uh, if you if I put it on the on the uh, wheel, it definitely wobbles quite a bit. If you can tell, it's not a it's not a complete circle or not a perfect circle. Not even close. But uh, I just got these from Brockner Hobbies. Speaking of Brockner Brockner Hobbies, I want to thank Tom once again. Uh, Tom, I got a review coming up on your your Impanimas. I'm gonna run these on the. Uh, off the GTP2E. Just a quick note, if you're going to think about getting these for the for the event, uh, they're good tires. I had no problems with them. They hooked up good. The only thing you got to watch out for is that if you get the staggered fitament ones, this is one of the larger ones, if you could tell, it's quite a bit fatter than uh, a regular GRP. Yeah. A little taller, too. Um, the offset is exactly the same as the offset of a GTP2E or not a GTP2E, of a uh, of a GRP, right? Except for the tire is wider. So you're going to have to put in uh, shock limiters into your shocks to keep the, you see how it's black in there? See that? I put these on my buggy and it had no shock limiters on it and they, they were rubbing against the, uh, the lower A-arm. Put a nice gouge in my arm. But, you know, they still, I mean, even with them gouging, they still didn't slip. Got a good grip. I think it's like a like 100 mile per hour with that thing grinding on the <laughs> inside of my uh, A-arm. So, so far, so good. Um, we'll see if they hold up past 120. Right? So, I think that's it, guys. I just wanted to show you what's going on with my stuff. Um, and I will see you guys on Sunday. We got some cool special guests coming. Uh, VGAD will be there, and uh, Rockbud will be there. Uh, I think Chief Firewolf might be up there too. And uh, we're gonna shoot. We should see a considerably larger turnout for this one locally as well. So, you guys, keep your eyes out. I want to say uh, say thanks to Big Tito. 
for uh, shooting some video of the spot and uh, pumping the pumping up the event for me. Appreciate it, brother. All right, guys. Deuces, you silly gooses. And get that 120 mile per hour into the curb speed. Chia, chia. Look at that. That car's beast, y'all. My favorite car. Well. <laughs>